Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh. So today we are going to discuss about AWS another component which is known as ELB. It means Elastic Load Balancer. Elastic Load Balancer. Now what does it mean and where it is required actually? This is quite important stuff if you are going to face interview. So 90% people would love to ask you about ELB. So first of all let us understand that what is the requirement of elastic load balancer. Why do we need the elastic load balancer? Fine. So for discussing about ELB we should know that we have a website running here. We have a website. Fine. The domain name may be www.example.com fine now all the traffic which is coming to this particular site site may be from route 53 route 53 route 53 means this is dns this is dns on the platform of aws so people will sit here let us say that I am end user here end user and I am requesting to this DNS and DNS knows that where to send request to so this is this is actual website fine so what happens is if I have created a uh, if I if I have a server here for example if I have this server this is web server Fine. This server has two IP addresses. Obviously, if this is EC2 machine, EC2 VM, if this is so, it will have two IP addresses. First of all, maybe 10.0.0. Let us say, for example, 80. Fine. One IP address will be 13.8.71.22. Fine. So these two IP addresses will be associated with this particular VM. So what would happen? This is our route 53. A route 53. End user is sitting here. End user will request to this particular route 53. Route 53 knows where to redirect the request. Fine. So end of the day when user will hit to this particular website. So website is launched on this particular server and we, because this site is hosted here, site is hosted here hosted on route 53 fine so what happens is at that moment when you are going to hit your server when you are going to hit your request to this server so what happens is your request will be resolved by dns and dns will send request to this particular server but what if we are going to manage in such a fashion that only this server is not capable if we know that only this server is not going to serve in a better manner so we need fault tolerance or we need fault uh, like disaster recovery for this server or we need failover for this server so how do we need to manage that so we will have a load balancer here one load balancer this will be e l b it means elastic load balancer this will be under this elastic load balancer we will have at least two vms this will be vm1 and this will be vm2 so by default what happens is we cannot uh, we cannot send this request using any normal dns obviously aws route 53 provided this feature but by default if we talk about any other DNS so we do not have such a feature that we can do load balancing using DNS wherein AWS provides but for now we have uh, now we have information about availability zone and region fine so what happens your route 53 okay your route 53 what can do is route 53 will send your traffic to this 
availability zone on this load balancer where you have kept two virtual machines one and this is your second virtual machine okay so what happens when you are going to send your traffic to this particular virtual machine so request will be served from here when you are going to send your traffic to this machine so your request will be served from here so this is the work of load balancer this is known as elb if we talk about that what sort of algorithm uh, uh, algos are working there on this L, this elb so the very first one is a round robin round robin fine what does it mean when your load balancer when your elv is going to send request this is your elv this is your vm1 and this is your vm2 okay so when your route 53 okay this is your route 53 when your route 53 will send a request to elb so very first request will come to this vm this will be your first request your second request will go to this particular server your third request will come to this server your fourth request will come to this server it means one by one your request will be served so this is known as rr so many people call it rr as well it means round robin mechanism now what next if you are working with the same stuff once again and you want that your request would be going on the same feed on the same manner but you want something else now you want to work with different proto different algorithm which is known as weighted so let us understand what is weighted weighted means when we create these two vms so now we should have the idea about the heart about the hardware of, of this vm fine so when we are talking about this vm so for example this particular machine has 32 cpus and 64 gb of ram maybe 500 gb hard disk this has if we talk about this particular so this has only 16 cpus this has 32 gb of ram and this may have for example 500 gb of hard disk drive fine so when i know the particular hardware which is assigned to this particular server is quite low it means almost of 50 percent so what i will do is i will i will request or i will set on this elb that my request should be transferred from load balancer to these vms on two upon one ratio it means two requests will come to go to this server and one request will go to this server because of because i know the hardware capacity of my server fine in the same manner the third algorithm is which is known as least connection okay so once again your route 53 is here this will send request to your elb then your elb will send request to your virtual machines this is your vm this is your vm2 this is vm1 this is vm2 so what happens is so next algo is least connection this is least connection it means load balancer checks on each machine that how many concurrent connections are being served by this vm so wherever load balancer founds that number of connections are less so request will be sent to that particular fine so next one is sticky session this is quite important guys for interview purpose and this, this question comes a couple of times in exam as well that what is stk session and where to use when you want let us say you are end user and you are trying to hit to any website which is example.com your request will go to load balancer now load balancer will send request either to this server or to this server if you hit once again maybe within two minutes maybe within 60 seconds 
so if you hit same website within quite short span of time so what happens is your request may go to either this one or this one because either we are using list connection either we are using like weighted or we are using round robin but if you enable HTTP session so this ensures because there are some cookies generated on maybe on your application or on load balancer as well so based on your your selection you can enable your your sticky session that if user is hitting from same device same ip address and same browser so request should be served from same stack it means from the same server so this is how load balancer works so if we talk about aws so currently aws is providing three type of load balancers which we are going to discuss in next video so the very first load balancer is which is classic classic ELB second one is application application elastic load balancer and third one is network load balancer okay sorry second third one is network load balancer what is difference between both where to use and where not to use we will discuss in next video so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much